pretty wet board here with three diamonds and four to Broadway. 1.5. And the bet is 1.5 million. <sighs> and a sigh from Doug. Absolute stone bottom of the range. Heads up between Eric and Doug. Doug with 7-6 off. A pair of sixes and an open ender for Doug. Check. Doug likes it. Gonna snap here. Eric's got a little something to work with. Gutter ball, two overs. Back to our flush draw. Pair of fives now, two pairs for Doug. Eric with six outs. And check. Check, check. Doug loses to all the pairs now, but not anymore. Both city. Full house. Eric's, Eric's whiffed here. He's got a diamond blocker. Doesn't want to show down this jack high. He's going to try and stab at it. Of course, it's not going to work here. Doug's love and life at the moment. Should go raise folds here. Raise here from Doug. And Eric came to the table as the huge chip leader. Eric just trying to save some face here. Eventually he's going to let it go. Can't do anything even versus the min race. Fair. Well, Mike brought me a uh, coffee from my favorite coffee shop in Round Rock today. So oh, nice. Probably only owe me $12 or so right now. Okay. Put it on our bill. But thanks. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate that. Doug with the sevens here in the hijack raises it up. Near thinking about what to do here with an ace nine suited in position versus Doug's open. It's one of those spots where it's like all the options are on the table. Take the most aggressive one. He's essentially bluffing here. Doesn't want to face a four bet from Doug. Or yeah, from Doug. See how Doug wants to uh, handle these pocket sevens. Baby blue chips are twenty-five thousand. Red chips are one hundred thousand. Light purple 5K and the candy cane are 1 million. Right. We're back. We're back. We're in business. All right. Ends up to a flop here. 4 4 5, one spade. Doug still way in the lead here. Could see a small C bet here from near. Let's see what he decides. Doug going to be going nowhere with his over pair. Doug's going to fire in a check raise here. Just calls. in the chat and rising. We thank you for joining us for the main event final table LCS. Near slows down now. No removal of the flush. Well, now he may think his ace is going to be good here with two pair on the board. 
Three chips so important here at the final table. Let's see what Doug wants to do. Eyes near stacks. 1.2 in the middle. Seven check. Near has showdown value with his ace, like you mentioned. So likely to go check, check. Sevens. Eight check. Sevens are good, Doug. That's how you do it. Smiley. 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 Uh, 160. Huh? Matt wants to have a cigar with that. That's his wife. That's his wife. See how Doug proceeds here with a small pair on the button versus a frequent razor. What's going on, Alexander? Thanks for joining us. Jurors in the building. Marcus, all in from Doug. All in moment. 2.2 million. Eric's going to likely call. Let's see. Going to ask for a count. Shows the ace and quick, quickly folds. Exactly what Doug wants to see. All right, guys. Today's your lucky day. Ace jack for Doug here on the button, and he rips it. All in. 1.2. Steven asking for a count. Don't see Steven calling here with the jack. Not a club, especially with a player behind, lays it down. This, Al with the eights. This should be a snap. You this should think. be, yes, this should be, a, I'd be super surprised. Stunned if Al lays this down. No, we need to go here, no, we need to go to the side, we need to see. Wow. Normally it's a call, but I need to think, I think is what he said. What is going on here? Doug just smiling across the <laughs> side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> says, please call. I have a basketball game together. He's going to lay down. He's going to lay down pocket eights. Did he, no. say, did he say fold or call? Wow, he folded. It was one of the biggest 100Ks ever. It was Bellagio. They ran him at 100K. They got like 150 entries or something. Wow. It was like, it was like four or five million up top. I didn't chop. Everyone was like, let's do chop. It was five, five million. Seven raises. One I said, not chopping. So he played. The next hand I busted, and then they all sat out and chopped up the money while I had to walk away. Doug Polk close to 10 million in tournament earnings, folks. Eric over there, right next to him, has just over 4 million in tournament earnings, has won multiple WPTs. Really? Yes, wow. Steve, Stephen and Al so here I mean, I trying try to make a name for themselves then combined then about 350k in <laughs> earnings. <laughs> That's a good flop for Doug. Nothing going on here for Al though. Flop is favorable. Pretty favorable one. Favorable flop there? We need a little more volume. Yeah, right we now. need the louder. <laughs> At least we got to work it. Broadway. <laughs> No, no, 160. Okay. <laughs> Any good? <laughs> He's got it that time. It's like no, four, four hands in a row or so. I checked. I checked. <laughs> Al's a boss. Anybody choosing Doug's attire in the chat? Steven, Steven raises it to 160. Al gets out of the way. More often, though, you could find me looking like Steven with the hoodie. Six calls. A couple of queen jacks and a pair. Three players to a flop. Three players. Queen jack for two opponents here. Both whiff. The crabs are in the lead for Eric. Lines check. Action on Steven. He checks behind to the turn we go. Nine of spades. Six checks. Eric not looking to fire. Gutter ball for both Doug and Steven. And Doug's going to represent a hand here. Going to bet. Range very favorable for him there in the big blind after Steven checks behind under the gun. Same, same here for Steven. Does he want to call 230 and perhaps make moves on the river? He's going to end up laying it down. Eric, with the best of it, will also be laying it down. Shows Doug the crabs, and Doug says thank you very much. Sends his queen jack into the muck and collects 790,000 chips. 
Seven Two paint cards. Doug's in there. Eric ready to catch a punt from Doug, perhaps, saying, you got a basketball game to catch. I don't know if they're waiting for me. Steven gets out of the way. Again, still hoping for some damage to Doug's stack. Started with 2.5-ish. There you go. There's your 40. All right. Add Doug. Turn to gutter for Doug. Nothing for Eric. Check is good. Six checks. Open ender. Seven checks. And it's straight here for Doug, trying to induce 600. a bet from Eric, and that's exactly what happened. Six hundred thousand full pot. in the middle. Will Eric fire again here sure. after connecting with a pair? Snap check from Doug. Decisions, decisions for Eric. On the button with 11 million in chips. Stack to pot ratio 1-1 one, one here for Doug. Will Eric put him to the ultimate test? You know Doug's going nowhere. 600,000 was the bet here on the turn. 1.8 in the middle, action on Eric. Eric. Check. Check Wisely checks behind. Check. Yep. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Okay. Here comes the flop. King, queen, five, couple of diamonds. what either player has at this point. Mystery hat on this one. Six call. Bet in a call. It's another diamond. Jack of diamonds on the turn. Six bet, Doug facing multiple barrels here. 600,000. Doug with a stare over to Eric. Reaching for chips here. Looks to be more than six. Nope, 600 makes the call. Pot here building. Eric now looking at the board. Action will be on him. Ten of hearts. Pretty wet board here with three diamonds and four to Broadway. 1.5. And the bet is 1.5 million. And a sigh from Doug. Debating between calling or folding here, shaking his head, doesn't like it. Makes the call. And the flush a monster hand there, and Doug's going to give away a large portion of his stack. So he dug himself quite a hole first couple months as That's right. an owner of the lodge, but now back into the green. And he's all in here on the button. All the chips. It's like almost exactly a million. We'll call it a million. Not quite sure what he has. Got to fight through the blinds here. Steven thinking about it. So it should be about 10 big blinds is the shove. Yes, blinds are 50, 100 with the 100 big blind ante. Yes. Could be shoving here pretty wide, but there's no time to wait with 10 BBs. And he gets a call here from Steven, so this could be it for Doug. Let's see. Cards will be on their back. 
And that looks like an ace jack and a jack nine for Doug. So Doug dominated. It's going to need a nine or running spades here, potential straight options. Let's see what Michelle brings. Doug at risk. There's, and there's an ace, an ace and in the jack. window. Going to need running spades here, four of hearts, and that's going to do it. That is going to do it. Nice run, Doug. Goes Very out nice in fourth place, says his goodbyes to the rest of the table. Yeah.